Hello, Furnace of North America fans out there, both commercial captives and suppliers. We are so excited to bring another element of FNA Technology Showcase today, featuring one of our great sponsors of the show. We're looking forward to seeing you at October 3rd through the 5th in Indianapolis, Indiana, where all of our suppliers are trying to do a couple of key things with the labor drought and labor shortage we're all faced with. Um, they're all trying to help you automate, be more efficient, and operate with a nice blend of human labor and equipment processes out there. So today, we're focused on things like audit compliance, pyrometry, AMS 2750, and all those 2750 specs. And we have with us Mr. the great uh, Andrew Bassett from Aerospace Testing and Pyrometry. A Andrew, say hello to everybody. Hey, hey, guys. So, Andrew, so world of specifications are changing like crazy. And I know that's your world of expertise. In recent years, a lot of change has been happening. So what do you see has been some of the big challenges or the things that heat treaters are running across when it comes to the world that you work in with specifications? Sure. With the uh, thanks, Tom. Um, with the specifications, obviously uh, being involved with the AMS twenty seven fifty specification pyrometry, we've um, uh, you'll you've seen an update of the specification uh, two years ago when uh, Rev F came out, and uh, that was after a five year review. That's kind of a mandatory requirement by uh, SAE to revise and take a look at these specs every five years. But uh, most people are aware now that uh, actually Rev G came out two years later to the date uh, on June 30th of this year. Uh, with the pyrometry specification in particular, uh, we've asked uh, SAE and the committees uh, if we can revise this spec to be more up to date and current, um, as it is one of the most uh, misinterpreted specifications. So instead of waiting for five years and, and letting other organizations make interpretation issues of the specification, uh, we've gotten the permission for our team to revise and update this spec to keep it more current, or if there's problems that are arriving uh, from interpretation issues, then we can go ahead and address the, these, uh, these interpretation issues and revise the specification and release it again. Um, you know, with the other specific AMS specifications, you know, those are always being looked at every five years. And we're trying to stay current and up to date with the, the latest technologies in heat treating. So, and I know your team is giving a technical session at Furnaces, which we'd encourage everybody that's attending from here to go watch that. I know you're going to unpack kind of the changes of AMS 2750 from F to G, which is going to be great. So when you look at, I mean, specifications, audit compliance can be such a complicated process. And, you know, with the labor shortage and everything, there's not a lot of time for people to be running around looking for specs or, or monitoring a whole lot of stuff. Um, and, and effectively, they need to do it effectively with the people they have. So what are you most excited? I don't want you to let the cat out of the bag. I know you want probably some mystery going to Furnaces North America about what you're going to unveil there. But what is something you're really excited that you're going to unveil in your booth that people need to stop by the a ATP booth and check out? Sure. Uh, we're, we're excited to, uh, to have our, our latest release of aerospace compliance software. Uh, this is a full uh, compliant uh, pyrometry software, not only to uh, AMS specifications, but to any industry specification. This will go across the automotive world of CQI-9. It will take in, in uh, consideration of other aerospace prime specifications such as GEP-10 TF3 or Rolls-Royce or Boeing. Um, it does, uh, it has the capabilities of uh, showing accept rejects for uh, not just temperature calibrations, but humidity and pressure and vacuum uh, for vacuum furnaces. Again, with the various uh, aerospace primes uh, requirements, uh, and for instance, it can be customizable. We have uh, quite a few customers that uh, don't have to follow necessarily any kind of specifications of, uh, from an aerospace prime or industry specs, but they have their own requirements. Well, this software, you're allowed to uh, make these allowances to put uh, your own accept reject criteria in it. Um, it's a self-checking system, so there's no human error anymore. It will uh, allow you to see your reports in real time uh, that they passed or failed. There'll be some uh, st stopgap measures. If something does fail, it'll automatically warn, uh, notify the uh, quality department that, hey, there was a failure on your, let's say, uniformity survey. Right. You should shut the furnace down. And with uh, the latest uh, uh, revision that we're coming out of this software that will be uh, uh, ready to go by Furnaces North America, it's actually coming out next month, is uh, we can now track your thermocouples inside your furnace. It's able to track the number of usages, the time, and they can be replaced on a timely fashion. So this, uh, this is a, a game changer, I think, in, in the aerospace uh, pyrometry world. And again, not just aerospace, this does go across uh, other uh, uh, 
uh, uh, industries such as automotive, automotive, pharmaceutical. So we're really excited and, and, and uh, just amped up to, to let the people know about aerospace compliance software. Well, I would know everybody needs to stop by your booth and check that software out just because I know a lot of paper in our industry is in those areas. And the fact that you've taken it 100, basically 100% digital and making it intuitive and help people really make their thoughts without having to think about a lot about it. That is great stuff. So I'm excited to come by the booth and get the, and see how that looks. So, so speaking of Furnaces North America, Andrew, I mean, you've been coming and being a part of this show for years. What is it that you really love about the experience at FNA? I mean, I just love wandering the show and just seeing the new technology that's out there in heat treating. I mean, it's, it's right. amazing how fast the technology changes within this industry and, and, and seeing what the, the other, uh, exhibitors are, are putting out there and the new technology to vacuum furnaces or uh, other heat treating equipment. And of course, it's always great to see yeah. you know, other industry peers out there. I mean, it's, a, it's great to get together with these uh, guys and gals and, you know, kind of share the war stories. Uh, it, it's just a, I, I look forward to it. I mean, uh, I think typically when, uh, the, you know, the previous show ends, I'm already signing up for the next one, two years yeah. later down the road. So it's a, uh, it, that's that's what I'm really looking for. And, and again, the technical seminars are phenomenal. I mean, just listening to the industry experts, you know, in their fields is is, is great uh, knowledge to gain. Right. So, if captives and commercials who are watching this right now, what would you say would be the big invite? Why should they Why should they just make the leap and attend furnaces in 2022? I'm, I would turn around and say, why shouldn't you be there? You should be there. I mean, if right. you got anything doing for if you're doing heat treating, you know, commercially or captive, you're going to be there pressing the flesh with the the people in the know of this of uh, of heat treating. I mean, right. it, again, it runs the gamut of you know the, the CEOs and owners of of uh, you know furnace manufacturers and, and support equipment and you know pyrometry service providers. I mean, you you're going to get technical seminars of, of uh, all about heat treating. So why shouldn't you be there? I mean, right. it, it's, you need to be there. There's right. no, no no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Well, change is happening so fast, and just the labor shortage thing is so, so real, and it's going to be here for the next decade. It's vitally important that people learn about the software packages that you have and all the furnace manufacturers and the refractories and just everybody that has their hands in the heat treat community as to what can I use coming out of that show to make myself more efficient, more productive, and push through more output so we can you know, make a good living for all the people that work for us in our communities and stuff. So, well, Andrew, I appreciate your time today. It's been great getting to hear a little bit more about what you're going to unveil at Furnaces North America. And everyone listening into this, go to FurnacesNorthAmerica.com and click on the hotel, book your room, and then click on registration and book your registration. You're not going to want to miss the show. The deal of the century is that you can for free, if, you, if you're just spending a day or two days for free, you can go see 125 plus suppliers and learn everything there is to know about equipment processes and materials and pyrometry and the things that you need to make your business better. So put October 3rd to the 5th on your calendar. Go to furnacesnorthamerica.com, click that link. And, uh, and, and by the way, one thing I forgot, Andrew, so you have a video that'll be coming out soon, correct? That's, that's yeah, going to be out absolutely. on your website. So real yeah, quick, on our tell, website, us what, tell us what that video is about. Yeah, the video is all going to be about the uh, ins and outs of aerospace compliance software. It's going to show you how the system is easy to use. It's going to talk about the security features. It's a, it's a, the security of our system is locked down tight. So those right. people who are uh, who are doing work for the Department of Defense or military or whatnot, they don't have to worry about their data being out there. So it's all about the software, how it runs, how easy it is to use. Uh, so yeah, if you want to go to our website at uh, www.atp-cal.com and look for aerospace compliance software, and you'll have a video of, uh, of uh, our, our future of our software. That sounds great, Andrew. Well, people, go check that video out, and we'll look forward to seeing you at Andrew's booth as well as all the other booths at Furnaces North America, October 3rd through the 5th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Have a great day. Thanks, Tom. We'll see you in Indy.